What's up everybody? So you guys spoke and I listened. You wanted me to review some break cues. So today we will be taking a closer look at a few different models. So this video will be in two parts. Part one include a break cue from J Flowers, Perry and a Go Customs. The break cue from J Flowers is $352, the Perry one is $372, and the Go Customs is $600. So, without any further ado, let's get it on. first cue is the J Flowers J Force BK2. It has a carbon fiber shaft, embossed leather grip, 13.8 millimeter tip, and the weight is between 18 and a half to 19 ounces. It's 58 inches, and it costs $352. At first glance, you might think that the sports grip is rubber, but it's actually embossed leather. I think that's a really nice detail, and for that price, I think that's pretty amazing. Okay, so it has a really cool design, but let's see how this bad boy breaks. To me, with the one ball on the spot, there's actually only two breaks that works in nine ball. The version here, hitting a one ball full, going for the corner ball, controlling the cue ball, somewhere in center at the table. And guys, sorry, I couldn't resist trying to run this tasty looking table. So for this kind of break, you really need a break cue that gives you control of the cue ball. Uh, this break cue definitely had that. I'll admit that this isn't the first time that I'm breaking with these break cues. I've had like 20-30 breaks before starting recording this video. The reason why I'm running these racks is to just to illustrate that if you break like this, anybody can run these racks and you're going to be a very difficult opponent to beat. Basically, all you need to do is make like six, seven balls, and with that kind of control of the cue ball, you will almost be playing with ball in hand. I'll try to have a weekly review for you guys, and if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, and once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna give away a free cue. Okay, time for the second break, and please notice in the top right corner, I'm measuring the speed as well, because you don't need to play with a lot of speed using this kind of break. The way that I view the break shot in 9-ball is more of a finesse, more of a technical skill shot rather than a really powerful shot. So since to me the break shot in 9-ball is a finesse shot, I really need the break cue to, to match that. And I think that this uh, break cue here from J Flowers, it, it gave me the control that I need to break the way that I like. It felt really good in my hand with the embossed leather grip and the carbon fiber shaft gave me the response and the feedback that I'm looking for in a break cue. J Flowers is also a brand that's really making an impact on the US pool scene right now. They're selling a lot of cues and I think that for $352 this is an awesome buy. Okay, so it's time to bang one out. Let's see if I can get some speed going with this break cue. Yep, I can definitely get some speed, but I have zero control, so that's not the way to break. Moving on to the Perry PBH JP02, it has a wooden shaft, a rubber sport grip, a 13.4mm tip, it weighs 18.5 to 19.5 ounces, the length is 58 inches, and it'll set you back $372. This break cue has a really sporty look and I really like the rubber sports grip. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate the second break that I think works in 9-ball. And this is my regular break. I'm trying to control both the 1-ball and the cue ball. The 1-ball goes up towards this corner and the cue ball stays somewhere around the center of table. And as you can see from the break speed, I'm really not putting any effort into it. It's more a finesse shot, really trying to control both the cue ball and the one ball to the best of my ability. So since I'm finessing the break shot, I really prefer a carbon fiber shaft. But this break cue from Perry, even with a wooden shaft, I felt that it gave me a lot of control. Let's see if I can get it up to some speed. Yeah, so almost the same speed as the J Flowers, but you know, it's a silly way to break. Moving on to customized break cue that I got from Go Customs. It obviously has a carbon fiber shaft and butt, 
but all the other attributes you can customize to your liking and it'll set you back $600. So if you got the money, why not? So I got this actually in 23 ounces. Uh, it was just some experience on my side, but I really like it. And for some reason, I prefer using this breaking in 10 ball and 8 ball. Perhaps the reason I prefer using this in 10 and 8 ball is because it's more of a powerful shot and not as much of a finesse shot that I normally do in 9 ball. Having said that, I didn't find any difficulties controlling both the cue ball and the one ball with this break cue. So it's a really good option and although it has a higher price point, if you got the pockets for it, why not? You can customize it just the way you want it. The customer service with Go Customs is also excellent. He has a really quick delivery. Uh, he's working out of the Netherlands, but you can expect your queue to arrive within a week. And the break queue here from Go Customs is absolutely, you know, top quality. You can see that the build, it's really well done and it's put a lot of effort into the break queue. And I would say that, yeah, as I said, if you got the pockets for it, why not? If you want to customize the tip, the weight, the length, whatever you want to customize, he's your guy. So, guys, I hope you don't mind that I'm doing these racks, but it's just to illustrate that, you know, when you have a good break, you, you can easily have a good break, and then you can control the table, and again, you're going to be a very difficult opponent to beat, and, uh, you know, I'm not a professional by any means but even I can run these racks so let's see what kind of speed we can get with this break you from go customs I hope this review has been helpful to you and the next episode will be in one week and then we're going to take a look at the break cues from Jacoby and the Purex thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe